Hi! Welcome to my very first devlog video. And as today, I'll just do a demonstration on my video game that I have made using Unity. As far as what you can see, it is just a simple easy puzzle game. In this series, I'm going to show you how I built this game and I hope you won't get bored while you are watching. So first, I created a character from scratch and I was using a sprite as my drawing tool. Somehow you guys may know, a sprite and I were best buddies when it comes to this. I used a sprite widely as my 2D tool aside from using Photoshop. From that thing, I applied some nice colors using the color red for the shirt. Brown for the pants and darker red for the sleeves. It is not that much looking good, so I apply some few details just to make it less pretty. So, while creating this animation, starting on the idle frame, from what I have learned, usually, a minimal walkdown can be made with all the 6 frames. And as a new pixel artist, I'm still using the basic guy which moves the leg forward while moving the arm on the same sidewalk. Then I just flip those 3 frames horizontally for the other leg movement. And thereafter, I created another sprite just for sideways. It is just same with the other one earlier, but different in a few tweaks as you can see. The only difference is I moved our his shoulder, arms and foot in the middle and made some few trick details just to make it look a side view. Later on, it is now time to add some walking animation on this side view idle part. Technically, it is just pretty basic if you know how to do walking animation on the downside part. The only problem I have encountered is I need to match all the frame movements of the downside part which I created before. The only important thing is I use 6 frames on the down view part. On the others, I also needed to use 6 frames too on this side view thing. Later on, since I completed the walk down movement and sideways movement, I also created the back waist sprite. For me, I never have hard time in this part because I just need to reverse all the position that I have made on the down part movement, which I created earlier. Somehow, the only problem I have encountered personally is I actually messed the hair part, but luckily, I still managed to fix it as quick as possible.
So right here, I prefer the color palette. Somehow this palette that I'll be using is recently used on my recent game dev solar projects. And by the way, that's not I'm gonna talk about. So let's move on creating tiles. Somehow I managed to choose blue color as my preferred color of the tile. Then suddenly chose cyan as the second color. Later on, I put some number on both tiles. The purpose of that is somehow I'm not gonna tell for now, but you will know what the purpose of that later on. Let's now move ahead on next part. On creating an obstacle, I literally used the cube drawing method and instead of cube, I transferred it into a gold bar form and I used the cyan as my color again and added some shadows on the sideways. For me, it's kinda tricky, but easy to implement. Let's now go ahead and create my game. I've been using Unity for about 2 years on making 2D and 3D game, maybe? I guess for me, it's just 1 year. Because there's a 1 year gap that I didn't use Unity because of a school activity that I needed to attend every week. After that, I just have decided to have my own name on the game. And now the Unity engine is now ready to go. Inside the Unity, I recompiled all of my assets that I will be using, including all of the sprite sheets that I have made. But as of now, I'm gonna go cut and fast forward this video. After a little bit of designing and layouting my sprites, as of now it's still useless just like me because I needed to add them a certain script in order for them to work. So now let's now move to the script process part. In this part, my main objective for now is to add a script for my player. I added some few variables that I'd be needing. And after that, I started now to make a move it script which able the player to move freely. Later on, I added the tree animation for the basic movement of a player and make a few changes to the script movement of the player. Hmm. 
Later on, I added a tile script whenever the player touches the tile, the tile tends to change to its own sequence of a number. As you can see, I use sprite variable just to make it simpler and to avoid the codes getting more complicated. I'm just thinking that's the only way I can do because I'm not either a good programmer or designer and I'm just a peasant when it comes to this patient. This script has the biggest impact to the game because the gameplay itself is focusing on this code. And then, later on, I redesigned the layout to make the gameplay itself. First, I added the move text. It means you only have 30 move left in order to unlock a level. Then second, the timer text. It means you only have 39 seconds to solve the current level. The best time, that's the high score. And you know what does it means. And I'm now too lazy to explain it. The game is just so simple and easy to play. You just need to follow the sign, those three images that carve on the wall. For example, you need to convert all zero tile into one tile. Once you filled all the tile, some random door will appear and it means you completed the current levels. See? Super easy to play. And I also added the levels. As of now, the game has only 10 levels to play. And I added a home screen just to make it look just so decent. And if you guys are willing to play this, you can just download the game in the video description. If you guys like this content, please leave a like and subscribe. And dislike if you don't. Don't worry guys, I'll do another game devlog in the next future video. See you guys.